We've heard from a, a lot of people on OG because they have uh, successfully won a lot of series. And it's time that we get to have a chat to Tiger. Tiger, congratulations on uh, the win today. I have to ask first and foremost, game number two just didn't go uh, the way a lot of people would have expected. We definitely were f fans of your draft. But from your point of view, why do you think that game two uh, just didn't really work out? Uh, I think... Uh... Game two was very uncoordinated. We pick uh, heroes. We had like uh, unsuc like unsuccessful with in scrims and stuff. Like, and we tried it out. It didn't work out. And at the same time, we also didn't execute the uh, moves correctly. Mm -hmm. One guy dies before we're ready, and you know, and, and then we get uh, and then we die one by one before we can get the chance to take a fight, proper fight with our supports, which is. It's like miserable if you cannot take a fight with Oracle Snap fire, right? So yeah. that's how I ended, I think. Yeah, uh, a similar sentiment to what we had as well. Uh, the other thing that stands out for me is we've had a chat to your other teammates about you guys not boot camping, uh, but for you as, I guess, a, a big uh, role model or someone with a lot of experience in this team, how has the not boot camp vibe been for you and what have you been doing to help the team with it? I mean, uh, the not boot camp vibe is pretty great actually <laughs> to chill you know but not really chilling if people know what they're doing online i don't think there's a need for boot camp mm -hmm. i think every team is different like uh, most people feel comfortable being home and especially with uh, everything that's going on in the world right now it's like safer to stay home you know just yeah. play dota for me personally i think we we had uh, we have practiced a lot and we came to a conclusion how we want to play dota and how we want to structure things up mm -hmm. in the game before we played, like, like after we played Tundra, we realized, okay, uh, we should take things more serious and be more disciplined on how we want to approach the, the game and uh, all the stages of the game itself. So I step up a little bit myself and everybody followed by, which is great because we needed to to sort out things out, you know, like after that loss against Tundra, it, it woke us up. So uh, looking forward to the next uh, series, yeah. What was the biggest change or the biggest uh, focus shift for you then personally after the Tundra? Uh, I mean, after the Tundra games, I started to look more into the meta and the replays of all other teams and how they're drafting. Um, and sometimes you get a feeling that it clicks and you get a good understanding of how, it, how teams are playing and you can compare with two other teams why they're doing this and stuff and mm -hmm. you can learn a lot from it. We decide to not like try to copy any other teams. We just do our own shit, you know. Like whatever works, what works. We we're gonna play our own stuff, so we don't care what you pick, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Okay. When you say your own shit, like uh, <laughs> define. I wonder, do you consider yourself like an early game oriented team that uh, steps up the tempo? Do you like to go more for that late game hard carry, or uh, is, is there like a defined structure that you're always looking for? Uh. And basically, we have stable, a lot of times, we want to have stable lanes, right? Mm -hmm. If the lanes are not stable, it's fine. Find a way through the game. Not going to leak some strats. Uh, probably use, but, uh, <laughs> of course. Uh, That's a shame. So yeah. each game, we're going to have something, let's say, uh, it varies. You know? Sometimes maybe a carry mid, sometimes a space and carry. Our course are flexible, which is a great thing about this team too. So we can do a lot of things together. And I think the idea also is to gem for a team he's uh, flexible in a lot of ways that enables a team and even myself to to play dota the one the way i wanted my team to play mm -hmm. um, probably before you get destroyed in the early game we have no idea of come back and stuff like and that's rarely happens now you know like we always have a way to to come back into the game i always have a way to approach approach the game we don't just pick random heroes because they're good for the game which we did second game and that's why we lost We're just picking mm -hmm. oracle for no reason just for the doxy lane yeah. but like in the game the hero itself doesn't didn't feel good yeah um so yeah okay um my question congrats on the victory by the way og looking good as ever um so yuragi and yourself you've been playing fewer pubs uh recently Looking at Dota 2 Pro Tracker, for example, yourself, nine games in the last eight days. Has, is there like a shift in your kind of philosophy for the week? Are you playing more scrims? Are you doing more like replay stuff? Or 
Yeah, well, what's the deal, Tiger? You're not fiending the pubs. <laughs> uh, two things, not fiending the pubs so well. And the other thing is that I'm watching a lot of games from the other regions to get a feeling of the heroes. Mm-hmm. So I'm more like, uh, you know, doing my exams than ah, I see. playing. That sure. makes sense. Yeah, I get so, you. Well, I, I used to play a lot and do less of the exam, but now it's like the opposite. And I feel like I don't think my mechanic skills are what going to decide if you win or mm-hmm. lose the game right now, you know? I think our players are good enough to to have their own mechanics. Like our mid laner will beat anyone when it comes to mechanical skills, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Our safe lane carry will do the same. So right now I'm thinking of like you know, studying for the exam, yep. what is good, what is not good, what's the best matchup we can get, blah, blah, blah. And as like an up and coming player, what distribution do you think should be between playing and actually doing the research? Like obviously playing 50 games in a week or whatever might be a lot, but what do you think is a healthy distribution between watching the replays and then playing if you're trying to get to that higher level of Dota? I personally feel like if you play in pubs to warm up, to get ready for games and to to learn something, like it's really productive. But if you pubs are just like random games, everybody, you know, there's going to be a carry bounty hunter in one game, on the next game you have undying mid lane. <laughs> it's it's not productive, you know, like, sure. these things rarely happen in competitive. You're not going to have these type of heroes. Mm-hmm. Like some games you might end up with, let's say, uh, uh, a lot of random mm-hmm. heroes that doesn't work well together. And you play these pubs, you feel miserable as a support for like 50 minutes. <laughs> like, okay guys, please just end me. Just just get me out of this game. This is miserable. So you, you feel like you're wasting time playing these pubs, you know. Especially at 2 a.m. ones. So I was like, okay. <laughs> all right, that's for room four. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, especially just my personal experience. I was like, okay, I'm done with this. I'm just going to study. I'm just going to watch some replays and see how it goes. But these pubs, no way they're helping me getting the team forward, you know? Like maybe they've helped myself improve mechanically and stuff like that, but that's not how it is in a team. You're not going to solo win the games. Mm-hmm. Your, your team are what matters when it comes to winning. Tim, do you have one? Yeah, sure. If, if we have time <laughs> yep. for one last question. We have one, okay. one question. Yeah, so I was harping a lot on this uh, on the panel. I wonder if you could maybe shed some light on this. So the last pick of the last game uh, from Entity, the Razor, we couldn't really understand what they were trying to do. Do you, do you have an idea what the goal with that pick was that you can explain maybe without revealing much about how you think about Dota as a team in general? Like, what do you think they're, they were trying with this pick? I actually did not understand that pick either. The only thing I can uh, think of is that because Toby ran out of heroes, because I think most of his heroes were like kind of banned, and he wasn't sure what to pick into like a uh, real big plus last pick on our carry. Maybe he picked Razor to preemptify, like, you know, like uh, let's say pre pick the Medusa last pick, because Medusa seemed pretty good to until they pick Razor. So okay. it made some sense there, but I think I just think Toby ran out of heroes. Fair All right. Well, Tiger, thank you so much for joining us and congratulations again on this series win for OG. Thank you. All right. See ya. I would like nothing more than to plant myself in the sunshine next to a cool stream. <laughs> <laughs>